Last summer, a surgical team of 35 doctors and nurses, all unpaid volunteers, arrived in the small town of Tula, Mexico, 100 miles northeast of Mexico City. Among the team members were OR nurse Molly Schmelzer and recovery room specialist Sandy Gianaris, a registered nurse. People have been waiting since before dawn for the clinic to open. Some of them have traveled hundreds of miles. The team's mission? To perform as many no-cost corrective eye and facial surgeries as they can in one week's time. Cesar, Fidel Sebastian. On the first day, team members interview the patients. Doctors must quickly determine who is a good candidate for surgery and who is not. <laughs> Dr. Harry O'Halloran is an internationally renowned eye surgeon. We could just cut that scar and give her a little injection of steroid as soon as they're here, you know, and that'll reduce the redness. Dr. Larry McCarthy is a plastic surgeon. This, this boy has microsomia, uh, missing the ear. On the other side, you can see that the face, the whole side of the face is shrunken down. Okay, amigo, maybe another time. The surgery this boy needs is too complicated for this clinic. Even when you say no, they'll say thank you. And, uh, it's tough. This is all eye stuff, right? Okay. Meanwhile, Molly and her colleagues set up the operating rooms at the local hospital. We're going to put all the dressings in there. She will be assisting the doctors doing eye surgery. Uh, we're, we have a lot of work. <laughs> we're setting up all our supplies, unpacking all the boxes, and getting ready to perform surgery tomorrow. <laughs> Sandy meets as many patients as she can. <laughs> As you can see, I don't speak Spanish, but you just find a way to communicate the best you can. As a recovery room nurse, she will be the first face they see when they awaken after surgery. Can you hug that? <laughs> They're so cute. Their, their smiles are just priceless. And you can see the gratitude in their eyes. It's, you tell everything in their eyes right away. The pressure is on to complete the setup today. Go to the other room. Otra cuatro. Seis, siete, siete minutes, siete, by the end of the week, I'll be bilingual. <laughs> Before the end of the day, the schedule for four days of surgery is completely filled. Todos van a pasar a valoración. Pero a partir de este momento... We're going to have to make a few people unhappy. One thing we're going to do is whether or not the patient has surgery, we're going to see them. Uh, they've come a long, long ways. So the, the least we could do is give them a couple of minutes of our time. We will see them, we will explain the situation, we'll tell them what's going on, and uh, we'll apologize for not having the time to do them. Now, the patients have been chosen. Tomorrow, the surgeries will begin. Coming up, a 15-day-old baby gets a life-changing surgery. Ready, doctor? Yeah. in. Already in, doctor? A volunteer team of doctors and nurses from the U.S. has arrived in Tula, Mexico to provide a one-week free surgical clinic. They are providing corrective eye and facial surgeries for local children. Yesterday, the patients were selected. Today, four days of non-stop surgery begin. Ángel y Primo San Juan. Está bien, mijo. Okay? Come on. Come with Molly. Molly is everywhere in the OR. Okay, is that good? She preps the young patients for surgery. Ready, doctor? Está bien. Already in, doctor? She makes sure each operation runs smoothly. Just put it back in there. I'll take care of it when you're done. Hey, Molly? Yes, doctor. Can swap out the scissors, please? And she comforts the frightened children like a concerned mom. Oh, mija. 15.5 kilos. Oh, you're beautiful. Okay. Oh, I know. You want your mama? Yes. Okay, girlfriend. There she goes. Oh. Oh. It's those little boxes right in there. 
15.2 kilos. When the procedures are finished, the children are brought to Sandy in the recovery room. Her responsibility is to make sure her young patients oh, awake yeah. from anesthesia without complications. Okay, so uh, this little uh, girl's name is Betsaira Resendez Tavera. She's 10 kilos. She just had a lip and palate repair with Vecchione. She got clonidine, she got fentanyl, and she got ANSEF. This little girl had her palate repaired. Sandy's job now is to make sure the toddler doesn't choke on her own blood and make sure her vital signs are stable. Oh, oh my goodness, this is okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, just get one quick hug. Oh. Oh, is your mom a dancer or a rocker? In here, one of the side effects of anesthesia can be shivering. Plus, it's a little chilly in here. I think sometimes, it, I don't know if it's true, they can pick up on you. So if you're calm, and you know, it just, it just helps. Put the IV on the other side. Or? For the surgical team, the four days go by in a blur. They correct hundreds of cleft lips, cleft palates, misaligned eyes, and facial deformities. The last surgery, patient number 298, is a 15-day-old baby. Give her a kiss. Pasito. Okay. Okay, baby. Give you something to breathe here, okay? There we go. The baby has a cleft lip and a cleft palate, but we're just going to do the lip this time. We started the IV so that we can give the baby medications when we put her to sleep. We've got a tube in, endotracheal tube. We're breathing for the baby now. And we're getting ready to begin. So this is the point you want to bring this top point over to. So that's what I'm marking this point here. So we're making our cuts all around the nostril across the midline, bringing this part down and bringing the muscles across. Okay, let's go, Kurt. Okay, let me have 6-0 fast instead of that five. This is a very delicate baby, so we'll go 6-0 fast. Starts to bring it together. So far, so good. It looks pretty good. Symmetry is good from, from this angle. Okay, we got a baby baby. The surgery completed, the baby is delivered to Sandy. Diaper change, I guess. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, just a lip, uh, no narcotics, got ANSEF. Ah! Mommy wrap. <laughs> Sandy takes her patient into the post op room where she will be reunited with her family. She's beautiful. That's why we come. After five non-stop days, the surgeries are over, and Molly and Sandy begin to wrap up. I don't know, happy but sad feeling, you know? It's, it's, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> we're teaming with us all It's good. Yeah, it's a successful week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Great co-workers. Yeah. We're a team, yeah. and the patients were awesome is overwhelming. It's awesome and it's overwhelming. I mean, the mothers are so grateful. Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't cry. But each time, it just you have done something to change this child's life. And it's something that you do every day at home. 
but here it makes such a big difference. So, sorry. For the children of Tula, the clinic is a gift that will change their lives forever. We could stay here another week and, and not be able to take care of every single patient. When I come down here, I think one of the biggest things is it makes me realize how grateful and how lucky I am.